Bridge Egypt started in uh, April 2012 and the idea behind it it's mainly uh, corporate social responsibility and communications uh, consultancy uh, and by communications I mean mainly social marketing and cause marketing so we take different social issues or causes and we do the communication campaign for it. Another part of Bridge Egypt is that we run non-profit uh, initiatives like the curfew library. the initiative in something, something very small. Uh, we launched it on Facebook and on Twitter as well on our channels. But we got a lot of response, a very surprising response from different magazines that started uh, showcasing the initiative by people bringing their books as well and donating their books to our office. So they say in less than a week it grew uh, enormously and we gathered 56 books in just uh, a couple of days. All the collection of books that we have, all the titles of the books, are gathered in pictures that we Instagram. We post them there so that people can see. We have an online directory of all the books we're getting so that people can swap their book and can actually choose as if they went to a library. They can choose which book to swap. Actually, the library was not the first idea. Our first idea was to promote activities to do good during curfew. Activities meaning, for example, creating handcrafts for underprivileged children or underprivileged uh, adults, for example, uh, for the sick, people suffering with cancer. So there are many ways to work. There was also, we were advising on our Twitter account, like uh, online volunteering. There actually, if you have this time, you can go online. There are volunteering uh, uh, platforms online where you can just give your time uh, through, you know, online websites. Like the, the UN even has one, but there are other uh, platforms that exist. <laughs>